Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So if you are watching this video, then I guess you have recently graduated, your college pass out with no placement, no job. Or maybe you are a third year or final year student who are afraid that after final year, you might not get a job, right? So I will consider the first scenario that you have just graduated, no job, no placement. And now you feel that you have wasted four years of your life. Sound familiar? But don't worry, you are not alone. Many students are in the same phase, right? So, and I was also one of those students when I graduated after my B.Tech. Because uh, to be very honest, my college was also not good. It's a private college and I also like didn't get placed after my B.Tech. So, once I was also at the same phase, feeling the same situation. So, I thought that... I can relate with this thing and I can also tell few points with my experience, right? So in this video, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. We will be discussing, you know, uh, real reasons why students don't get placed and more importantly, what you should do now to turn things around and to get a job, even if you are pass out with just like no skills and no experience, right? So very first thing is, see. You know the reason, you know the reason why this thing is happening that you are passed out with no degree, uh, sorry, with no placement. Yes, you have a degree, but no placement. You know the reason. There can be many reasons and you know your reason I know very well. I'll tell you very first. Let, let's discuss what can be the reason that you are right now in this situation. Very first thing is you don't have skills. Yes. Or you, you don't have that industry relevant skills. Got it? Because if suppose, uh, see, if I am looking for a suppose video editor, then I will definitely hire someone who is good in editing, who know that skill. I'll not hire someone who is good at maybe teaching. No. I know, I, I need that skill. So you need those skills for the roles you want to apply. So very first thing is that, that lack of industry relevant skills. And you know this reason very well. But it's, that, it's just that you are not working on that thing. That's the main reason. Second thing, maybe like you have skills, you are good, not that much great, but you are good. Your, GG, your CGPA and GPA, these things are good, but you have poor communication skills and no confidence. Actually, the second thing was with me. I was a good girl, like having a good CGPA and all, but almost zero communication skill and zero confidence. I was not able to speak in front of like in class even. So that was my reason. I focused on myself after that and I analyzed these things and I work on that. So yeah, that's a different story. So second thing may be a case, right? Or third thing may be like you don't have any projects. You don't have any internship to show. You don't have any certification. Your resume is blank. Then why someone will hire you if you don't have anything to showcase in your resume? Yes. Next reason may be like, um, because most of the students are having no clear direction or guidance during their college time. No planning, nothing. They are just moving. They are just, um, you know, going with the flow of the college. That's it. First year, second year, third year exams, final year. And that's it. Now what? Your college is over. Then you need a strategic planning. You need a plan during your college days, during your those four years. Okay. But you were like, okay, clueless at that time. You were just flowing with the college flow. That's it. But it's okay. It's not too late. It's not too late. So definitely out of these three, four reasons, whatever I've told you, at least one is the reason that you are right now in the situation that you have a degree, but still you don't have any uh, job. So see, I cannot analyze you. I don't know about you or any YouTuber who is like, maybe we are posting on videos, something like this. So we don't know about you. We can show you the path only or we can tell you the general reasons. The main thing is you have to analyze yourself and you have to work on that. Yes, no one else can do on behalf of yours. There is no such shortcut or no such medicine that we give you and that's it. You will get a job like, like this. No. You 
will not get a job unless you work on yourself right so if you are not having the industry relevant skills so get those skills study it's quite obvious yes now maybe how to study because there are so many fields so many things to do and you are completely clueless then sit relax decide analyze yourself pick one path then move on that path right it's like you are interested in maybe um, software development web development app development or uh, uh, data science ai machine learning cloud computing digital marketing uh, testing maybe computer networking networking field administration field database field in which field you are interested because i'm sure during this four years of time you must have like experience of uh, these subjects and these things so you definitely have the idea that you have negative interest or zero interest in this subject and you have yeah some interest in this in this field you can go in this i'm sure i just hope that you are not that much like dumb that you don't know anything so pick that one field pick that one path after picking your direction or your field your path now go for the courses or the skills learn there are so many uh, resources youtube udemy coursera so many websites as well many things are there those who want to learn for those students there are so many uh, resources and material available even freely also and you want to go for paid one that also available see i know most of the students study during their graduation just to pass exams but companies want problem solver communicator analyst coder they don't just want degree holder i know maybe your uh, college syllabus is outdated that's not your fault but ignoring it is do self study what you can do now complaining is not the solution right that in my college they don't teach us our industry relevant skill so is this a solution no don't complain how you can learn these skills focus on that go self study find out these kind of uh, resources there are so many resources available nowadays on internet build projects upload on github on your portfolio uh, work on your linkedin profile make it a little bit professional if you don't have anything to showcase there then uh, start sharing with your learning journey then once you learn something then you will build project then start sharing those things some projects two three good projects then if you have gone some certification courses you can go you can uh, mention that also and internship also you can mention there so work on your online presence online portfolio as well now second thing is okay you are learning now now you are learning right but second thing is to get a job you have to apply second thing is this now apply how to apply uh, you can directly go to linkedin and through you know, on linkedin you can apply on that i have already uploaded a video step by step how to search and how to apply for jobs and internship you can go and check out i'll put that in i button the very best uh, the very best is or you can say i guess i will recommend that you go for linkedin and other than that rather than simply uh, just see the job post and apply no this these things will not work actually if you get referral then it would be good but nobody will refer you if you don't have skills obviously i have nothing in my resume i've just wasted my four years i don't have any skill then why someone will refer me recommend me to the company no so make yourself worthy of this thing increase your value if you have something then definitely you will get referrals not much but 1 2 3 and if you get referrals if you make connection on linkedin personally and uh, if someone can refer you then it's very good your chances of getting getting you know selected for that job will be really high so try to try to manage some referrals and this thing happen when you have something to showcase on your profile so the solution is just one you have to get skills that's it so learn as well as apply don't just wait that i'll learn first maybe 6 months 7 months and then i'll start applying no uh, while learning apply together learn and apply together and for that create a resume that 
seriously leave some impact ats friendly resume is simple even if you don't have any experience show your skills your internship your projects your github linkedin profile show in that that these things in your resume so resume is very important and suppose you are good in something so while learning some extra skills do freelancing also do internships so that or even you can contribute in some open source so that you can showcase these things as an experience in your resume so that would be great point for you right so what is the conclusion you know the reason why you are in this situation <clears throat> graduated with no job and what is the solution you know that thing also you already knew these things yes i guess the answer is yes yes so but the thing is you don't want to work on yourself that's the reason simple so don't waste your time watching such kind of videos more even uh, same goes with my video also but now you know the reason that it just time of waste wastes of your time watching these kind of videos work on yourself you know the reason very well you know the solution just go for it yeah i know you have wasted 4 years but it's not too late now you have 6 months you have 6 months to prove yourself and actually you have you just have to think that your whole life depends on these 6 months and it actually does and if you are interested to learn java and dsa then you can check out my courses you can go to my website the link you will get in the description box of this video you can check out there is a dsa with java course as well as a separate java course so in both the courses you will get everything from scratch from zero to advanced practically also we will be discussing lead code questions placement questions quizzes assignments projects and one more thing every week we will have a live q and a session doubt resolution session so you can ask a doubt they are live i'm here to answer plus you will get access to a dedicated whatsapp group you can join that group and you can message me at any time if you have any doubt right and uh, after completion you will get a certificate also so uh, and within one uh, week of enrollment if you don't like the course you can get your refund 100% refund also so the link i'll drop in the description box of this video do check out so start today be consistent learn build and repeat learn build projects and repeat this thing so all the best to you now that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care